fundamentally, uh, what I've learned these past six years is the steel business is a domestic business. Um, and so given the capital costs of primary steel production, there isn't another market um, in the sub-Saharan African continent that we have identified with the possible exception of Nigeria where you would comfortably make a business case for a local footprint. So that means that at any one time our Africa strategy will be predicated on a South Africa domestic production and an export strategy. So that's what we've been pursuing. Now, what happens with that is you become extremely reliant on your logistics network. While the shipping market from Durban, say, to where, it, wherever it is you want to go up the East Coast, is very good, quite well priced. A uh, number of um, shipping companies ply their trade there. What has been a significant bottleneck has been on ground logistics. From Fandabil Park in Gauteng to the coast is a significant cost barrier. Just in the order of magnitude, China, in terms of transport cost, is as far away from the South African coast as Fandabil Park is from the coast.